Hey guys, what's up? Here's new upgrade from thenewapple.com, and today I have a tutorial video showing you guys how to get keyboard theme onto your iPhone or your iPod Touch. But before you have the keyboard theme, you're going to download an iAccess for English app. So I'm also going to show you how to get that. But before I get into this, I have a quick shout out to Movania89, Movania89. So he is a new user of YouTube, and he has some news update gameplay videos and some more pretty fresh stuff so let's just get straight into this so I'm charging my iPod touch because it doesn't have battery so sorry for the inconvenience I got AT&T logo so it's updating downloading okay so once it's finished, uh, first you are going to go to um, Manage, Sources, and you're going to add a source. It's called iPhone.org.hk. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'll type it for you. So I'll put a, I'll put the source down in the description, video description. And type in iPhone dot org dot hk apt and you're gonna click add sources so once you're finished you're also going to have a second source and the second source is called mod my okay so here's the mod my if you already have it you can just ignore this one so you're gonna click edit add apt dot mod my dot com so you're gonna type in apt dot mod my dot com I'll also put the sources down there if you already have this you can just ignore this source because once you finish downloading these two sources you're gonna go to section and you are going to scroll down to repositories here repositories click into it and you go scroll down to the i section and download these two sources the iax source and the iaccess source so these two source so once you're finished downloading these two source you are going to go to <coughs> search and you're going to type in i a c c e s <coughs> So you're gonna type in iax, gonna click search, and then you're gonna scroll down to this one, iaccess for English. This one, not China, not the BU iPhone one. Download the www.iaccess.com and the iaccess for English. Go click, and then you're gonna download. It. Uh, I won't download it because I already have it. So once you're finished downloading, you'll have the app. I'm now gonna download a sample for it. Sample theme. Uh, you're gonna go to search and you're gonna type in i axis again i axis <laughs> click search and then you're gonna scroll down to the keyboard section and you can see macbook p boy keyboard and also this i axis macbook air so i already have it on my iPod Touch. Uh, let me download the BlackBerry Storm keyboard. Okay, I'll click install, confirm, and just wait for it to load. Okay, so it's running pretty fast. So it's reloading the data. So it's finished and you're gonna go to home. Okay, so just wait for it. And you're gonna go to iX4. And when you go into it, it will say uh, Chinese. So you just select English. And then you'll click keyboard theme. Click this one. Go back to home. So it's the uh, MacBook Air keyboard. Just 
can see MacBook Air keyboard. So this one is my MacBook Air keyboard, and now I'm gonna show you the uh, BlackBerry Storm keyboard. So when you download it, you're gonna go to Winterboard and activate it first. So you're gonna activate the keyboard first. Okay, slide on lock. Okay, and then this is the very important part. You're gonna click the globe here. Click it one more time. One more time. And one time. So you're gonna click four times. You're gonna click four times the globe button and your keyboard theme will show right in front of you. So you can download many kind of keyboard theme, whatever you like. So remember, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any question, make sure you comment down there or email me, or you can write a message. So thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.